Warning! This video contains all the information you need to take your backlinking strategy to another level. If you take immediate action after watching it, you will be on your way to SEO success. Oh yes, and you might want to watch it several times. Alright, by now you surely know how important on-page SEO is and that backlinks are the backbone of off-page SEO. Let's talk about the type of backlinks you want to have. There are dozens of backlink types you can have and it's always good to have a lot of variety. Here I will focus on the more important and common ones. Resource Box Backlinks You have surely seen them hundreds of times. When you are writing an article, the resource box is the section where you say what your sources were, who you are, what you do, and what your website is. It's good to have such backlinks in your profile for link diversity, but you should know that they are not of great value anymore. Footer Backlinks this is where our anchor text is placed at the bottom of the page where usually the copyright text is. There are debates on how effective these are. It is true that these alone will not get you ranked, but having some will definitely not hurt. Homepage backlinks. These are placed on the homepage of a website, usually in the sidebar. They are really powerful backlinks because they carry with them the page rank of the homepage. The only issue is that they are isolated pieces of anchor text. I will tell you what that means in a moment. Homepage backlinks could be really powerful and just by having 10 of them coming from high PR websites will increase your rankings. Just don't overdo it. The most powerful backlinks you could get are called contextual backlinks. Remember when you were reading an article and you saw that some of the phrases inside that article were hyperlinked? Well, these are contextual links. The keyword should be part of a relevant piece of content without breaking its flow, and it should link to a relevant website. What this means is, if your website is about car repairs, you want to have the keyword car repairs linking back to you. And it should come from an article or website about cars, or even better, car repairs. Let me tell you about another aspect of link building which often gets overlooked. Anchor text variation. After Panda and Penguin, you need to be really, really paranoid about your anchor text. You cannot just blast thousands of links with the anchor text car repairs and expect to rank anymore. In Google's eyes, this is over-optimization. It looks unnatural and quite frankly, spammy. You have to be smarter now, and I will show you how. The keyword you are targeting should be used no more than 40% of the time. That's the general rule. What should I use in the other 60%? You should use related terms like auto maintenance, car spare parts, and here is the secret. Generic anchor text. Use terms like click here, visit this website, valuable resource, this page. Well, you get the point. You might think that you are shooting blanks with these backlinks, but you couldn't be further from the truth. They will give your backlink profile a more natural look, and this is what will skyrocket your websites in the search engine results. Now let's recap what the three most important things are when you are building backlinks. Have a good mixture of several different types of backlinks. Focus on getting contextual backlinks coming from niche relevant websites. Use your main keyword no more than 40% of the time and use a lot of generic anchor text. Good on-page SEO combined with those three will make sure you rank on top and stay there for a long time. Here is a brief demonstration of how Content Machine handles all of that while building content. Alright, I'll start a new campaign. I will call it SEO Tools, just like my main keyword. I will leave everything else as it is and press next. Here you can see the different types of links you can use in your content. Contextual, article body, and resource box links. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will select one of each and start with the contextual. I would like to use my domain with the main keyword. Alright, let's continue with the article body links. 
These are pieces of anchor text placed at different locations in the article. Here is where I would like to link to my blog and use relevant keywords other than the main one. In this case, I will just right-click and select Suggest Keywords. I will type in my main keyword and let Content Machine give me more suggestions. Alright, I'll just select several of them and click OK. Let's continue with the resource box links. Here is where I would like to link to my inner pages and use generic anchor text. I just need to right click in the URLs box and select Get Inner Pages. Type in my website URL and choose which pages I would like to link to. Now, I need to get some generic anchor text ideas. In this case, I will use 20 of them and continue with building my campaign. All right, let me see what I have. Here is my article body link and my resource box link with the generic anchor text. There is the contextual link with my main keyword. This is how easy it is to build content with your links. Till next time.